What is up, fellow nerds, and welcome back to the Dapper Snapper Gaming Channel, and welcome back to Wi-Fi Wednesday. Now, last week, we had an entire week worth of Wi-Fi, and so if you missed any of those Wi-Fi battles, make sure to check that out in the playlist down below. If you love these Wi-Fi battles, I know that you guys do. And so, yeah, you can check those out and then come right back here and watch this video all the way to the end, as always, because today we're bringing a viewer suggestion out, and that is Regice, and not just any Regice, an offensive sweeping Regice. Um, so I wanted to bring this out and see if we could get it to sweep. Now Regice really isn't that great. Um, unfortunately, it's just not that strong and it gets taken out by a lot of things in the tier, um, a lot of things just in general. Um, this tier and pretty much every tier, it, it loses to a lot of things. Um, the metagame is primarily physical right now and so anything that is this slow and it's more focused on special defense, um, it, it just doesn't really fare all that well. So this thing struggles just a little bit but it can still work. So don't you worry, this thing can work and we're gonna try to get it to work. So I'm excited to try this out. We've got a rock polish set here um, with modest nature and rock polish. With one rock polish, we can outspeed pretty much everything but like timid Dragapult and Jolly Zera Aura, um, barring Scarf, of course. Uh, pretty much anything else we can pretty much um, outspeed. And so we've got Charge Beam, which is kind of the meme of the set. Charge Beam is going to allow us to boost our special attack, and so this is to help on switch-ins or anything like that to get off just a little bit of damage, raise our special attack, you've got a 70% to do that. And then we've got Ice Beam and Focus Blast, which are our main means of doing damage. Now to help out with that, we've got Urshifu. Now Urshifu helps with the things that are faster, such as Dragapult. That is the biggest thing that we have to watch out on Regice. And so we've got this thing, Choice Band, Sucker Punch, Oko's Dragapult every time. This helps us to check that. Um, this helps a lot, actually. This thing is pretty huge. We've got Slowbro here helping out with that fire weakness. Um, same thing with the Swampert you're gonna see a little bit later. Um, this thing's pretty awesome. I love this thing as well with boots and slack off. This thing lives for forever. It's a really cool mod. We've got T-Wave there as well to possibly slow down Dragapult because if we slow that down, then Regice can take care of it after a boost. So we've got some, some ways to slow things down and if it's even slow enough, then we might be able to get it slower than Regice without a boost, which also would be really, really nice. So that's that's just some options that we got. You know, I'm, I'm just trying to trying to explore our options with getting Regice to work. Then we've got a Specs Dragapult of our own. Just fast ways to put dents in teams. Um, just try to get things weakened down. Uh, the big thing is just try to take out Regice's counters and then go in with Regice himself. And uh, yeah, he's a pretty cool boy. And then we've got our Rocker here. We don't have any Defog on this team, so that can be kind of a problem. Sticky webs are a little bit of an issue for this team, but you know, we'll, we'll make do. It'll be all right, we'll, we'll make it. Um, and so we've got Stealth Rocks on this Earthquake, Flip Turn, and Toxic. Again, just trying to whittle down everything. And finally, inspired by our Christmas video, I wanted to bring an Autotomize Weakness Policy Celesteela. Now we're not bringing the Meteor Beam set like what, uh, like what our buddy Jordan did last time, but we're bringing a very similar set. So we've got the Weakness Policy, but Autotomize let us uh, let ourselves get hit with some kind of a super effective move pretty much always live it like this thing lives almost one of anything as long as it's not boosted and so yeah weakness policy we get our speed boost and we just kind of go nuts and then we just get stronger and stronger and stronger every time so make sure to stick around to the very end of the video um i've been trying to have some bonus sweeps that uh, that i caught on showdown when testing these teams and so i've got two to show you today one for regice and one for celesteela so again Another reason to watch the video all the way to the end. So after the Wi-Fi battle, two super fast sweeps. It's gonna be really cool. So make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you haven't already, share the video with all your friends, and of course, click the bell so that you get notified for all of my upcoming videos. That's really, really important. YouTube, for some reason, just doesn't want you to see videos even if you're subscribed. So yeah, go ahead and click that bell. Really helps me out a lot. So now that we've seen the team, let's jump into the battle. Here we go, and we've got a pr pretty cool team here. Um, we've got s the Charizard is pretty interesting. So is the Gyarados. I haven't seen one of those in a hot minute. Um, so as far as Regice goes, Regice is looking 
pretty nice. We need to be care careful around Hitmonlee. Obviously, that thing could get very fast very soon with Unburden. Um, so we've got to be really careful about that. Raichu also could be a problem. Um, but we can probably deal... We can do a little bit to Charizard. Um, probably need to get that weakened down a little bit. Gyarados probably we can deal with. The uh, Dragonite we can definitely deal with. Um, how much do we do to Charizard? I would like to know. Um, I mean, Ice Beam does over half. So, I mean, it's a, it's a two-hit KO, which is good. Charge Beam does over a quarter. I mean, that's pretty good, too. Um, I think we lead Swampert here. I think it's a pretty safe lead. Um, it, it covers pretty much every lead. There's not really a terrible matchup for Swampert here, so um, I think I think we're good leading this. Um, we could get a Toxic off if we need to, break any potential Sashes if there's something like that. Um, yeah, I think I think this is a good lead. It's a pretty interesting team. I have to say, it's pretty it's pretty interesting. A lot of Mons that you used to see a lot, but you don't see a lot anymore. Like Kangaskhan, if it still had its Mega, you'd see it all the time. But uh, you don't really see it anymore because of that. Probably a fake out coming out here. Uh, I'm just gonna sit here and take it. Yep, fake out. Makes sense. Don't really care. Just a little bit of damage and we're gonna heal off like half of it almost. Yeah, almost half of it. Um, but what do you do to me now? I just set rocks. Which are very important here. I feel. Double edge that? Mm, that's gonna hurt more. Yeah, that definitely hurt more. But we're gonna go ahead and set our rocks here. No problem at all. Could have gone Dragapult, but uh, it's all good. This thing probably has Sucker, which is a little scary. These things normally carry Sucker. Um, could go Slowbro. Or we could go Dragapult. I think Slowbro is probably a little bit better. Kangaskhan's a fun mod to see, though. Um, it just doesn't hit quite hard enough to where it's um, a super big threat. Oh, actually, the hard switch into Hitmonlee. Oh, so this was great for us. This was uh, this was quite good. It's quite good for us. So we'll go into our slow bro here. Really good switch for us. Um, so we can just. So we could do a couple of things here. We could T-Wave, predicting him to try to go fast. Or we could Scald, trying to make him a little weaker. I'm going to go with Scald, trying to cut his power in half. Knockoff is going to hurt a lot. Ooh, that hurt. A very large amount. Oh, it hurt me. That, that's why it hurt so much. Oh, it's Life Orb. It's not Unburdened. Okay, good to know. Can we get a burn? Yes, perfect. That is perfectly fine by me. So Slowbro needs to get out of here. I need some healing. For uh, for sure. Um, nothing else really wants to take a knockoff, though. And Slowbro is pretty good in this match. I really am going to need it. Uh, we'll go Swampert. I need Slowbro more than I need Swampert. And I can't really freely switch into much else on a Hitmonlee. Yeah, clicks knock again. It's not going to do that much damage, but it does get rid of my lefties. Which is, you know, not great. But Life Orb plus Burn is going to wear this thing down pretty quickly. And... I did get rocks up. Yes, I did. Okay. Then we're good to just click flip turn here. Goes for the HJK. That could have been a little risky if you missed that. But, I mean, it's fine by me. It's fine. That that just seemed a little reckless. Reckless. That, that's the key word. Um, so, him only... That's not what I wanted. So yeah, reckless being the uh, the key the key word there. Um, 
It's base 87 speed. So we'll go Urshifu here, because you're slower than me. And even if you click Sucker, it's doing zero. Um, do you preserve this? I doubt it. But we're just going to click Wicked Blow no matter what. Yeah, Unburden there could have been a problem. But since we know it's Reckless, then uh, we know that we're fine. Uh, fun fact, even though that's resisted, it's a guaranteed KO there. Yeah, everything but Sucker Punch has at least a chance to KO on, on him only, which is kind of nuts. Um, its special defense is, is quite good. Physical defense, not so much. So, yeah, it's it kind of dies to a gentle breeze on the physical side. But it's all good. It's all good. Um, so we go ahead and take that out with Urshifu. Um, you go into Raichu next. So many things that get fake out on this team. This is the third thing that gets fake out, even though only one thing has had it. Um, I don't want to stay in, because that seems a little dangerous. I've lost my immunity, which is also dangerous, but I need this around to deal with the Kangaskhan, possibly. Celesteela so doesn't want to eat the, anything. <sighs> Dragon Boat's a little risky in, in case of a Nuzzle. Yeah, Dragon Bolt's a little, a little risky in case of Nuzzle. I really don't want to switch in Regice here, because Regice might be our uh, our sweeper at the end. Regice is looking really nice in this match. So is it Celesteela? So I don't think Celesteela is looking as nice. Yeah, I think it's Celesteela. Mm, I really hate to do this. I hate to do this to you, Celesteela, but you gotta, you gotta take one for the team. Oh, it's actually a Focus Blast. Interesting. Yeah, we take one. Um, I mean, I'm just gonna click Flamethrower, I guess. I mean, it's faster than me and just knocks me out here, I'm sure, but I'm just gonna click Flamethrower anyway. I mean, it just clicks T-Bolt. Unless it's Specs. That did a lot, I mean... And it's... I didn't pay attention if that damage was Life Orb. I should have. If it is Life Orb, like, it's a nasty plot variant. And if it is, it just switches up to Thunderbolt and kills me. Which, I mean, I'm, I'm giving him Celesteela. Celesteela can't really... It's not really that great in this match. But I'm just going to click Flamethrower as just a neutral play. It actually switches out into Charizard. Okay, makes sense. So we're doing um, about three to this. Okay, that was like five. Not much better. Is there any reason to preserve this? I don't think so. No, I, I don't. I don't think so. Just don't let it do anything crazy, but I, I don't believe that that predicted me to switch. Yeah, I predicted a switch. Interesting. You're going to take a big chunk of damage there. Uh, does this... This may put you in Reg Ice range. That looks like Charge Beam range, actually. Yeah, that's Charge Beam range. But obviously we'll have to... Uh, we'll have to get it in and get the speed set up first, but... But that looks like range. That for sure looks like range. Um... Let's go slow, bro, here. And then immediately teleport out. Yeah, I'm more than happy with you wanting to save this. In fact, I would prefer it. 
if you would switch this out, because this is a free charge beam later. So this is weakened, which is exactly what we needed, because um, this thing obviously could have been a big problem for Reg Ice later. Stays in and goes for Hurricane. We actually live it, which is not... Which is crazy. I didn't think we would live that. I really didn't think you would stay in, because that could have just very easily missed. He has... Really didn't think he would stay in there. I would rather him leave this alive. And just switch it out. Hmm. Do I click Shadow Ball here? The thing is, he still has the Kangaskhan around. And if I click Shadow Ball, then I'm in a little bit of a weird spot with Kangaskhan. Uh, where I can click Sucker. If I click T-Bolt... If I click T-Bolt, then Raichu comes in for free. Okay, he gives me this. Okay. I was really hoping you'd keep that- you'd leave that alive. But, alas, did not. Alas, did not. Unfort. So, we take out Charizard, which is fine. Gyarados comes in. Are you Boots? You are not. Okay. Charge Beam is not a KO. From this range. Um, it comes- it's close, but it is not quite enough. Sub, that's bad. That's really bad. Okay, Sub Dragon Dance. That's really bad. In fact, it's quite terrible. Is this how I lose my Dragapult? I think it is. But I don't really have a better option. I gotta switch right back out. I mean, that gives Slowbro some healing that it needs. Which is good. Yeah, DD, that's bad. Yeah, DD's really bad. Although, I mean... Sub... DD... Probably doesn't have crunch. I'm assuming it doesn't have crunch. Yeah, clicks EQ. Shouldn't KO. Doesn't? Okay. Yeah. But he's faster, which is bad. And this is Moxie Dose, too. This is really bad. Yeah, that sub, the sub is really problematic. I might just get swept by this. Yeah, I think I get swept here. Yeah, I think I get swept here. I'm trying to think how I could get out of this. I don't think there's a really good way of doing it. Um, I guess it's her Shifu. Wicked Blow. Sucker has a chance to KO, but... I'm not- I can't rely on it. So we're gonna have to take a bunch of damage. 
Luckily we don't flinch, because that could have been bad. But that's a guaranteed KO there. I, the sucker was a little risky because he also could have gotten a free substitute. And if he gets a substitute there, I think we lose. Like, hardcore, we're done. So I, I had to end up taking a bunch of damage on this, which I did not want to do. But it just, it was what it was. It's unfortunate, that hurts a lot. Uh, I've got to go slow, bro, here. Yeah, we're going to take that. I'm going to immediately slack off. I need this thing pretty much back to full. Any chance I get. Um, Raichu might come in here. If it does, you know, sad panda. Yeah, it does. I'm starting to think this thing specs. Unless it was Life Orb and I missed it. Because if so, that's on me. But I, th I'm, I think this thing specs. And if it is... Um, T-Bolt doesn't do very much to Regice. I don't want to just switch it in, though. I think I have to give it to him. I think I have to give this to him. Oh, this is bad. Okay. Do I try to teleport? I don't think I live this. I don't think I live. No, I don't. If he's... I mean, we'll know for sure if he specs here. I'm gonna click Skull just to get him for sure in range. Actually goes for Volt Switch. And it does that much. Yeah, you're specs. You are so specsed. That is... Yeah, that's way too much damage. I mean, Thunderbolt barely KOs. If that gives you any indication. Dragonite comes in. Oh, a burn on this would be so nice. Well, no multi-scale. That's also good. Okay. Do I sack this? I think I have to. Um, I'm going to click Scald, or do I T-Wave here? I would rather burn it. Yeah, I'd rather burn it. Yeah, because I've just got to keep this thing's power in check. So, I really need a burn here. Please. We don't get it. The dapper luck is real. Please, I, I really need this burn. Outrage. Oh, we're gone. We're dead. I think we lose the whole game now. Just because we didn't get that burn. Anyone else would have gotten that burn, for sure. Um, so he's plus one, plus one. Outrage. I'm sure Regice just gets nay-nayed by this. Uh, there's a 93% chance to Oko. Uh, we've got to go Urshifu and hope that sucker KOs. I don't think it will, though. Uh, yeah, no, sucker does not KO here. But it's all we got. <laughs> Wait, it does. That... I don't think that should have KO'd, but it did. Okay. We take those. Oh, because it's at level 100 on the calc. Oh, okay, then yeah, that was guaranteed. Okay. Um. I'll just stay in. 
Mm, it didn't survive. <laughs> Alright. Reg Ice is in. We've got a Raichu in the back, and we've got this. We've got a hope to live one hit. And rock polish, because we've got to be faster than the Raichu. Can we live a double edge? I doubt it. Oh, we do. Nice. We do. Let's go, Reg Ice. Kangaskhan. Guaranteed goes down to Ice Beam. Don't have to worry about Focus Blast. Yep, don't have to predict there. And Raichu, we know his specs. We're plus two speed, so we're guaranteed faster. Uh, it's a roll. It's literally a roll. It comes down to this. This is not guaranteed. We got it. Okay. Oh, boy. It all came down to that. Reg Ice ended up clutching it. Um, obviously, we could have been a little bit more reckless with it. Um, I think he DC'd. Yeah, he rage quit. Um, we could have been a little bit less reckless with it by s sacking Reg Ice over Urshifu there at the end, um, letting the fake out go onto the Reg Ice instead. Um, that's one way we could have played it a little bit differently. Um, and so if that had happened, you know, we wouldn't have lived the, uh, I don't think we lived fake out plus, let me see here. Let me, I, I want to calc this before we, before we go. Uh, Kangaskhan, I'm assuming you're just the standard Silk Scarf set, everything matched up to be that. Um, so Fake Out plus Double Edge. Um, there was a chance, but it was very low that we uh, that we survived those two attacks in tandem. Um, so we, if we had switched into that and switched back into um, and switched back into Urshifu, actually, I think we lose if we do that because I don't think Sucker would have done enough. I don't think Sucker would have done enough. I really don't. Or Shifu. Okay, Sucker does half, and Kangaskhan was definitely under half. And Specs Raichu, how much does it do? Oh, Sucker just Okos. Okay, so we could have won that way too. But it was more epic to have Reg Ice do it. So we won either way. It's It was fine either way. So, all good. It worked out in the end. Reg Ice ended up picking up those last two KOs. It was much more epic that way. We take those. It's fine. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this Wi-Fi Wednesday. Again, as always, make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and stick around because right now, we're about to have some bonus battles, a little, little bit of sweeping action, and I hope you guys enjoy those. So, until next time, we'll see you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.